All right, I'm not going to kill Paul George for his decision to stay with the Oklahoma City Thunder for four years, even though I wouldn't have signed long-term four years, player option after the third year. I'm not going to kill PG for that. Here's what I will say, though. I will give him this in this regard. I have not had a crazy injury like Paul George did in his career, right? The injury with the USA team where his leg literally went in a different direction. It was ugly. It was nasty. Maybe he wanted some more stability some some type of uh you know it's a player option it's not a team option so if he wants all four years let's say his body breaks down after next year he know he has guaranteed money for the next four years of his life maybe that meant something to him that's why he wanted to sign for four years because it's not the best move right you want to be able to have that flexibility you want to be able to have that that uh it, it, let's say something happened in la that he wanted to join next year if lebron and Kawhi do get together in la you want to be able to join it if you want to. Let's say it blows up with you and Russell Westbrook and things get worse than what they were last year. They lost to a lot of bad teams last year. You want to be able to leave that. That's the new trend in the NBA. You see Kevin Durant signing these one-year uh, deals with a, a player option in the second year. LeBron doing that for the last few years as well. He wanted stability. Salute to Paul George. I couldn't kill Paul George for his decision, right, in, in regards to you playing with Russell Westbrook and y'all lost in the first round and you had LeBron on the table. I won't kill him for that. That's his move. He's a man. He made his own decision. But here's what I don't get, though. You worked your life. You got traded from Indiana because you told him you wanted to be a Los Angeles Lakers. You go to Oklahoma City. Y'all lose in the first round. What told you about this team? What convinced you to sign long term? I don't get that. But here's what I really don't get. You've worked your life off to be a free agent, right? You, you, you opt out of your deal. You work your life off to be this free agent, right? Why do you at least not hear the Los Angeles Lakers pitch? That I don't get. Why do you at least not hear what they had to say? You see LeBron's in LA right now. He flew to LA. Why do you at least not get in a room or get on the phone with LeBron? I'm not saying that, I, that this didn't happen. It doesn't look like it happened. Why do you at least not allow yourself the opportunity to hear what the Lakers, Magic Johnson, a legend, a top 10 all-time player, why do you not give him the opportunity? What sold you? Okay. I'm not mad at Paul George for being sold to Oklahoma City. He, Russell Westbrook, the Thunder did a great pitch. They they recruited him. You know, they they got him a year ago. They traded for him. They showed loyalty. They risked everything by trading one of their last assets in Victor Oladipo and Sabonis, a couple of their last assets for Paul George with no assurance that he'll stay there long term. I get it. It was an emotional thing with PG. He's an emotional guy. But you worked your life off to be a free agent. Why not hear your hometown team out? You grew up a Lakers fan. You're from the area. Why not give them a chance to pitch you? Why did you feel the need to sign at 1201 with the Thunder? That almost, and, and we know this is not something he did at 1201. He's probably agreed to this over a week ago with the Thunder. They just ain't, they couldn't make it official. Why not listen to the Thunder's pitch? Why not get, I mean, excuse me, to the Lakers pitch? Why not give the Lakers an opportunity? I don't get that at all. Why not give this, you, you're a free agent, you won't be a free agent for the next three or four years. Why not give them an opportunity to give you a pitch? Why was the Thunder so, how did they sell you to the point after y'all lost in the first round and y'all lost a lot of regular season games because y'all should have never been the seed that you guys were, right? Pretty much for the whole season, they were six, seven, or eight. Why not at least hear what the Lakers have for you? Because to me, if LeBron is joining at the Lakers, which it looked like it's going to happen, they have a better team. That is one of the greatest all time. What about Russell Westbrook and Oklahoma City Thunder sold you to not even meet with the Lakers? That would be my question if I was in front of Paul George right now. That's the only thing I don't get about this decision. Respect his decision as a man, but I just don't. How are you sold on the Thunder enough to not even meet with other teams, especially your hometown team? Don't get that one at all. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!